hey guys welcome to my channel in today's video we'll look at how we can harden and secure a linux mint machine now most of the commands i'm going to be running i'm going to be running them on the terminal so i'm going to go ahead and open the terminal here now the first thing you want to do is you want to make sure that you are always updating the system so we need to be doing regular system updates the command to do updates and upgrades is a sudo apt update and then sudo apt upgrade dash y now this command might take a while to do the update and upgrade so i'm just not gonna run it another thing we can do is to make sure we uh, automate the updates and we can use the command sudo apt install unattended And then upgrades so I'm gonna skip this because again it might take a while and then you can also do sudo dp kg configure and then priority equals low unattended upgrade okay the the other thing uh, we want to do is to make sure that we disable root login that way we are not able to directly so we want to make sure nobody is able to directly log in as root and to do that we can use the command sudo pass wd option dash l root press enter so another thing we can do is enable a firewall we can use the uncomplicated firewall or the ufw firewall so if the firewall is not installed we can do sudo apt install ufw so in this case i have it installed and then to enable it we can do sudo ufw enable if you wanted to disable it you can change this to disable so let's go ahead and enable it then you can check the status and we can check the status using sudo ufw status in this case i already have some ports allowed so if you wanted to enable a port see how uh, ports or services enabled to allow a service you do sudo ufw allow they say ssh that's how you would allow ssh now another thing we can do is we can say by default to allow anything that comes from our computer and then we can block anything that's coming into or coming from the outside to the computer and allow everything that's coming originating from our, our computers and going outside let's go ahead and, and, and look at the command for doing that the command uh, will be sudo ufw ufw default will allow anything that's coming out from our computer and going outside so allow outgoing and then we can by default deny incoming anything that's coming from the outside world to the computer deny incoming now with these commands you will need to have uh, like I said you need to have rules you need to have rules that allows specific services that you want to access from outside uh, let's look at one other thing we can do or something that we have available that we can do now if you wanted to just to do an audit or security audit of your system there's a tool we can use and it's called uh, Linus so you can install it sudo apt install lynis I already have it installed and then to use it you just say sudo oinis audit system so this is going to run a, an audit on your system so this could take a while so it's going to check a bunch of things on your system and then once it's done you'll, you'll be able to see what's going on now what you have running what you have missing as far as security related 
and then from there you can make decisions on what you need to remove or what you need to install on your system or what you need to enable or what you need to disable so I'm gonna have to stop this it's uh, it takes it takes a while because it's gonna check quite a few things on the system you can use your editor whatever editor you're using such as Vim or Nano and edit this file and edit uh, etc SSH. So the file we want to edit is sshd underscore config. So you just find the line that has permit root login and make sure that's changed to no. So this line right here, here. You can go ahead and save the file. Yes, and now you've edited your file and uh, restricted or disabled root login. Next thing we can do is disable unnecessary services. Since the system is using systemctl, what you can do is you can list the running the services that are currently running and then you can see which ones you want to disable. You can do sudo systemctl list unit files type service grab enable because we want to see what services are enabled so you can go through the list and whatever services you know for sure you don't need you can make sure that they are they are disabled and to disable a service all you have to do is do so to disable a service, do sudo systemctl disable and then here you have to put the name of the service that you want to disable. If you wanted to secure some of the uh, sensitive files such as the files where passwords are stored, uh, such as files where we have passwords stored and uh, users stored, we can sec secure those files by restricting the permissions so so let's restrict some of the uh, permissions for some of the files so let's do for it's shadow where passwords are stored let's do for g shadow then we'll do 644 for the pass wd where users are stored and then the groups share this group so we can also check logs and also monitor logs so some of the logs we have is authentication logs found under var slash log so we can do sudo less to show the logs var log hot log and you can do this regularly just to see the users that are logging in and the other log file is syslog so that's all for this video those are some of the things that we can do on our linux mint machine to harden or to secure it. So I hope this information has been helpful. I'll catch you in my next video. Thanks. Bye.